Hi everyone, it's um, oh, what is it? It's sa it's Saturday. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, it's the evening. I am gonna try and go to bed soon because it springs forward and I work in the morning. Um, because daylight savings time is stupid. Um, but I finished Wicked Saints by Emily Duncan. Um, oh, dude, it's so good. Like, I wasn't even hyped up enough for it. It deserved more hype. <laughs> So I finished that now, and I read, uh, I'm not sure what page I put my bookmarking on on Sunday, um, but I got to chapter 38 on An Echo in the Bone, which is page 398, so I'm almost at the halfway mark, um, but I'm going to be able to spend more time reading this tomorrow after work because I'm finished Wicked Saints, so hopefully I would love if I could get to page 500. That would be ideal for tomorrow, another 100 pages or so at least. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Wicked Saints was so good. I'm just so excited. I don't know what to read now. <laughs> I've just read, like, really good arcs so far this month. This has been my day, and, um, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Hi, people. It's, um, Monday. Um, hi, buddy. Uh, yeah, so I just worked. Um, today, though, I started and finished The Dead Queens Club. It's, um, ten minutes to midnight, but I finished it. Um, we also had Sarah Glenn Marsh in the TBR and Beyond group doing another virtual visit. Um, so I watched that. Um, and then it comes out tomorrow, but my pre-order copy of The Tesla Legacy by K.K. Perez came in a couple days soon, and or a day before. And I'm, like, really excited because she wrote um, Sweet Black Waves, which, like, I'm still feeling the after effects of that book. Um, this is just under her different pen name. Um, and... Uh, I'm just so excited and curious about this one. It's supposed to be urban fantasy. And I, like, at first I saw the cover and I was like, I can't tell if I like this or not. But, like, you can kind of see the purples and then it's the same spine, like, the purple on the spine. And I actually kind of dig it up front and close in person. Um, all the little details and the color pulled in everywhere. Um, it looks very pretty. Um, so I am so excited to read this. Um, but she actually held a giveaway uh, late last week on her Instagram and I won. <laughs> Um, so I want an arc of the book, so I'm really, really hoping I like it. Um, I'm absolute trash for her writing so far. Uh, everything Sweet Black Waves did to me, and then I have an arc of the sequel for that. So I'm going to be doing probably a K.K. Perez read, a couple reads, um, next month. Um, and like I said, I finished The Dead Queen's Club. I didn't get a chance to read anything from An Echo in the Bone, and it's quite late. Um, so tomorrow, though, I'm going to start The Afterword. Um, and I think I can finish that a little bit earlier tomorrow, part of it being that it's less big than the Dead Queen's Club. Um, and, um, I don't have a virtual visit tonight, uh, tomorrow to watch and participate in. So I should be able to do that and then read a little bit more of An Echo in the Bone. So that is the plan. Um, hi people, it is Tuesday. Um, I started and finished the afterword by E.K. Johnston today. Um, I think that's my favorite book of hers that I've read. Or to be fair, I don't think I've read, no, I have definitely haven't read all of her stuff and I haven't read any of her Star Wars stuff, but I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, I also had some pre-orders coming today because today was a really good release day for me. Um, my pre-order of Beware the Night came in by Jessica Fleck. Um, I honestly don't know what to expect from this. It just sounded really cool and the cover is just like for that cover um and my and it's a standalone as well which is like another thing that i'm trying to get more into standalones rather than these massive series because then cover changes piss me off and then like long delays piss me off so um the only thing i'm keeping told is like it's got like a lot of romance in it which i'm okay with that as long as i know that going in and i'm not being like misled so i know that and then uh, uh, <laughs> My copy of A Dangerous Collaboration from Deanna Rayborn came in, and also it came out today, my copy shut up. I'm so freaking excited to read this. I was going to read it right away, and then my friend was like, oh, I haven't read the first Veronica Speedwell book yet, and I was like, what are you doing with your life? You fix that. Do you want me to buddy read with you? So I'm waiting to hear back if she wants me to buddy read the first one with her, because then I'll just like plow through the full series next, next month, because they're like... 
I can read two a day, depending on if I'm working or not. Um, and I'm absolute trash for them. Um, and while I was at the store picking them up, I walked in an indigo hat. I don't know how long the sale is on, but they had, um, you get extra uh, 500 bonus plum points when you go and buy anything that's in stock. Um, I don't know if it's in store and online or just in store, but I went in store. I think I saw it online though. I'm 99% sure. So whenever they have those sales, that is when I actually pick up adult books. I said I wasn't going to buy any more books, but then I saw the, until my birthday, but then I saw the sale. That is literally the only time I buy adult books. I've been waiting for one of those sales and I wanted to pick up the third Catherine Arden book, but they were out of stock. <laughs> um, so I wandered around and they had City of Brass by S.A. Chakrabarty. I read this like in January last year. Absolutely loved this book. It was so good. It's an amazing debut. Um, I definitely want to reread it before I get to the second book. It was only 20 bucks, which for an adult book is decent in Canada. Um, so I picked up also the sequel, though, which came out in January. Yeah, January, I think. Uh, the Kingdom of Copper. So I want to reread City of Brass, though. Just There was just so much historical detail and fantasy magic detail put into it. Um, I'm, I absolutely love this author's writing. And then she just got a contract. I don't think it's supposed to start until 2022 coming out or 2021, um, but it's supposed to be, like, Ocean's Eleven meets Sinbad, which, like, that sounds, like, amazing, so <laughs> I, I believe this is supposed to be a trilogy, so I'm gonna probably sometime this summer reread City of Brass um, and Kingdom of Copper, um, just because I remember this setting, I read it early last year, and I remember reading being, like, it's, like, minus 50 as I, why am I reading about, like, a city in the desert? <laughs> So I'm going to reread City of Brass sometime this summer and then get probably that same month to Kingdom of Copper. Um, so that is what I finished. Um, I, I think I'm going to start the Paragon Hotel. That's, yeah, I'm like 99% sure. I think I'm going to start the Paragon Hotel tomorrow. Ooh. Or Wind Witch. I don't know. One or the other. Um, I want to try and get at least, like, one more book done before Friday because um, I'm trying to get a little bit ahead on my Goodreads because, like, it's on my Goodreads goal, sorry, just because Outlander books take me forever to read. So if I can get, like, one more book done this week, then I will be ahead, uh, at least one or two books um, to be done by the end of the year on track. Um, and then I can take a couple days to just, I really, really want to try and get Outlander done by the end of the weekend. That is the absolute latest I want. Because Les Mis is just a massive beast. That one I'm okay too if I don't finish it right at the end of the month. Um, I just want to finish it and then get it onto Sky Without, Sky Without Stars, which I think comes out at the very, very end of this month, like the 26th or something like that. So... That is the plan. I just want to finish Les Mis, and when I finish it, then I will put Sky That Stars on the TBR. So, that is the plan. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi, people. It's um, Thursday. I 100% forgot to vlog yesterday. Sorry. I didn't have anything come in the mail, but I finished, started and finished Wind Witch. Um, and then today, I started and finished whoop, Sapphire Blue from Kirsten Gear. <laughs> really hate these covers, man. The story is actually really interesting, but I freaking hate these covers. <sighs> um, but yeah, so I just finished that. Oh, yesterday I read, I think, oh, no, not 100 pages, up to chapter four. I don't remember what page it was on The Valley of Fear by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So it's like maybe a quarter in. So I'm going to keep working on that. Um, but I finished Sapphire Blue. So tomorrow I'm going to spend a decent amount of time working on... Um, What's the book called? An Echo in the Bone. <laughs> um, I want to finish the Sherlock Holmes book um, story tomorrow, though, so that'll be finishing that, um, which I don't think will take me too long, maybe another two hours or so, um, and then work on, on An Echo in the Bone. Um, and on Saturday, I hope, because I don't work on Saturday, I can hopefully finish An Echo in the Bone. We'll see how much. I'm, I'm a little, I'm like two-thirds done, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's all I did. Um, I do have a book outlet order because I have no self-control, um, coming. It should be here on Monday. And, um, I pre-ordered BTS's new album, but I had to buy something else to make it free shipping. So I bought, um, something, some book in paperback that was cheaper than I wanted. I don't remember what it is now. So 
that's coming and yeah that's just been my day and hi people it's friday i'm really gonna quickly edit this and throw this vlog up but um yeah so today i finished so far the um Sherlock Holmes, uh, The Valley of Fear, which was actually interesting. I don't think I've ever read any, even at, or seen any adaptations of that one, actually. Um, but I had a very long day at work, and I'm super tired. So I'm going to take the evening to, like, watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine or do something random and just different. Um, and then tomorrow, I have to film the weekly wrap-up. Um, I read six books this week, so it's going to be a longer one. Um, I, however, had someone... I, I apologize, I don't remember who. Someone a while ago asked me when I did Wicked Saints, if I read Wicked Saints The Ark, to do a standalone review, and I really want to do one anyways. So, I'm going to do, hopefully do two films. I don't know when they're going to go up, hopefully soon. Um, but, yeah, that's been that. Um, I don't know what next week will be like. I have to do a little bit of overnight traveling for my job. Um, so, well, I might be able to show you some very pretty... Alberta mountain areas because that's like all that we have around us really <laughs> there's a Costco here and then that's kind of it um but yeah so that has been my week I got six ish you know the Sherlock Holmes is the story not the whole anthology but I got that done and my goal for this weekend is gonna be to try and finish an echo in the bone I will do it if it kills me I will do it um but yeah that's been my week and yeah, I'll see y'all later.